in an interview itself, you can't have, you know, loads of paper in front of you, but on a video yes. interview, you can. What tips would you give to people who might have to go out and do an interview? Like, what are the, you know, one, two or three key things that it's like, if I was to do this again, here's exactly what I would do differently. And here's what I would tell people out in the internet world. I think what I missed a lot with the company that I was working for, that, sorry, that I was interviewing for, not working for, um, I should have gone a bit more to their website and put down a bit more of their keywords off their website mm -hmm. because I was going going through and answering and often in an interview I've done some research mm -hmm. because you're in front of people so I missed out on that on this one because I wasn't thinking about the types of questions mm -hmm. they were going to ask I was thinking more about oh my goodness it's a video I've not done this before oh, so don't I guess the tip is it, for that tip it's don't get overwhelmed right. by the fact that it's a video right. interview do everything that you would normally do for an interview and then also focus on the the technicalities That's of doing right. a, the and take interview. advantage Great of the tip. fact that it's video and write a bunch of stuff down because in an interview itself you can't have you know loads of paper in front of you but on a video yes. interview you can yes. so there's lots of stuff that I could have prepped ahead of time and had in front of me mm -hmm. just as keywords and little mm -hmm. notes or whatever that to show that your is needed. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. What about the software itself? Do you have a, a, a you know, so so advanced prep and that kind of thing, but yeah. do you have a tip around, you know, kind of the software or, you know, like you said, you were bouncing from screen to screen, right. you know, like I'm curious how you would have managed that. I think uh, I probably would have propped my actual camera up a bit higher because uh, it, it would have, uh, the video, the stuff that I needed to see was at the top of the screen. So if I had propped the camera up a bit, propped it up on some books or whatever, mm -hmm. then it probably would have uh, been a bit better that would have looked like I was looking at the camera a bit more when I was monitoring the time. And the so the recording starts automatically. You can start it beforehand, but when you hit that 90 seconds, that recording starts. Mm -hmm. So you really have to pay attention to your time countdowns and mm -hmm. stuff on the on the screen yeah mm, thank you for that karma one of the